Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee and Colorful Conversation. Doing the usual checking to make sure that I am live. I don't see any comments yet. Is everyone awake on this wonderful Wednesday? So I, for one, am totally, completely exhausted physically, emotionally, mentally, all of the things. We had an amazing Revival 2021 event. Um, it was Sunday and Monday, and when I say all day, for us it was all day. We left the house at you know 9 a.m. and we got home at 10 p.m. We were at the studio the entire time, but it is so worth it. It is something that you know we plan for months. As soon as one revival wraps up, we start placing you know our uh, goal sheet right away for the next one and thinking about new educators that we can bring in. And I just wanted to take this coffee chat time to thank all of you who came to Revival, who showed up, who played full out. Um, you were engaged in the breakout sessions. You all had, you know, connection with each other and with the educators. Um, that's more than I can ask for. You know, it's it's like anything else when you have a staff um we were we were actually a little disappointed we have a staff that you know of course they are always invited to our educational events and every single one of them was invited one signed up and she was actually away for the weekend and the others didn't take advantage of the opportunity and i say that not to talk you know poorly about our staff but just to remind you that education is a gift it's something that will change your career in a positive way every single time. Whether you get one little tiny thing or many things out of an education opportunity, please do not discard opportunities to, to be educated. I mean, this was an unusual, amazing situation where you had the top educators in the world in private rooms with you with only four other people. I mean, how many times have you ever been given that opportunity in your entire life? I know I haven't, and I was having serious FOMO the entire time the breakouts were happening because um, Zoom does not allow hosts into the breakouts. So I was like, I wanna know what's going on. I wanna hear what they're saying. So I am a total geek when it comes to learning. That has been my one if I could boil my entire career down to why I have been successful in what I've done financially, emotionally, you know, just had a wonderful career, it was because I never stopped learning. I never felt as if I knew enough when I didn't have to learn anything else. Um, I watched the path of people that started at the same time as me. And the only difference between me and them is ongoing education. It's not that I have better skill set than I was born with. It's not that, you know, it's my personality or where I'm located. It's none of those things. It's 1000% education. So we don't want that to stop there. And this year I didn't give myself enough of a break. I wanted the momentum to keep going. So in my calendar, when I was planning out Revival, if you're already a member in my Hair Color Secrets Insider, you know that I only open up membership in May and November. So we started doing Revival last year in October, so we kept the same dates. And I was like, oh, I have to roll right into the launch for my membership. But that's okay because the momentum is there and we have people paying attention and they're excited and they're on that education high and I want them to roll right in <clears throat> to my boot camp. So boot camp starts tomorrow. If you've never been to one of my boot camps, I highly recommend you come. If you've been to boot camp, this one could be a little repetitive because it's the best of. We're taking the 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 uh, sessions that got the most engagement and the most positive feedback. I've been doing boot camps. This is probably my sixth or seventh one. So if you came to the April 
boot camp. It may be repetitive, or you may just want a refresher anyway. So you're, everyone's welcome. You do have to sign up. It's a private group. Um, I put the link in the um, title of this post. So when I'm finished coffee chat, you'll be able to click on the link. It's a Facebook page that we're going live in. Um, and at the end of the boot camp, I always invite people to a deeper dive in a master class. So you will be getting invited to that as well. And you'll be getting invited to be an insider. So I'm so excited about boot camp. I love connecting with all of you. I have the pleasure of creating and hosting revival, but I don't teach in revival because I'm doing all the other things um, in the background. So boot camp is is my way of connecting with you through my education and really my focus if you've been following coffee chats or if you've been following me at all you know that my passion is the foundational pieces so we're going to go into some corrective things in this boot camp um, because that is so important you know it's great to know how to freehand paint balayage it's great to learn how to do tz lights and um, you know all these different techniques but a technique is only as good as the formula that's used on the hair you can do, you can, you know, be articulate in your placement. You can have the perfect, you know, placement and, and do the lightning service. And then if you go to glaze it and your glaze falls flat, it's too overtoned, it's too muddy and murky. You went for silver and you got just like a rat fur brown. There's a reason for that. And it goes back to the fundamentals. And a lot of us did not really grasp, myself included, the fundamentals back in beauty school. And then we keep going and keep guessing and keep pulling yet another tube or another bottle, another tube, another bottle, trying to get that perfect shade when all we really had to do is back up and think about what is in the bottle, what is in the tube. And the, the big overarching theme of all of my education is 50% of every formula you pour into a bottle or bowl already exists on the client's head. Let that sink in. 50% of the formula is on the head. So 50% of what I mix, my, my roots are in. Hopefully you guys didn't see that in Revival. I was afraid to get my color done again because it's been a disaster and I wanted to make sure that yeah, I knew it looked okay and I didn't want to mess with um, getting the roots done and have it be brassy for Revival. You can't teach hair color if your hair looks like crap. Why are you bringing me water? Am I too froggy? Vanna is bringing me a bottle of water. My husband, he must be listening to my coffee chat thinking that I'm froggy. I'm actually not froggy. I'm trying to talk quietly because my producer, assistant, and amazing daughter, Bryn, who I have to give a major shout out to, is sleeping. She is wiped out. She was the person manning all things production. I mean, her emails were flooded with frustrated people trying to handle the technology. We do a live check-in for Revival, and people were writing saying, I can't make it, I have to work. It literally took two minutes, two minutes. You had to click on a link, come in and see us. The reason we did that is because we wanna make sure when you click that link that it brings you to us. That means you have Zoom on your device. If you weren't able to get in, Zoom would pop up and say, you have to download Zoom, yada, yada. So there was a method to our madness, and it was to avoid all of the people panicking during the event, which ends up happening no matter how prepared we are. And Bryn takes care of all of that. So she was inundated with tech questions and frustrated people trying to get in. And we had an issue with Zoom and she had to get on the phone with Zoom, which if you've used Zoom and you've tried to contact them, you get that you know bot on there that tries to help you and getting a human being as you know with credit card companies and all of these companies is always very very tricky so <clears throat> julie said she needs a raise trust me she is getting taken to the spots and i we are going to i planned it before revival we booked it way i booked it ahead of time she had no idea but i was like she's getting a massage and a facial and a beautiful lunch and a beautiful dinner she is getting pampered today so don't worry um, she totally deserves it. She works her butt off for me um, and, and just stay, stays so calm dealing with, you know, people were saying, what's my password? What's my password? You, I need the password. And she's like, I don't know. You created the password. <laughs> so it's hard to keep doing that and smile. I keep saying, smile when you say it. Smile when you say it. Tell yourself you're, you're happy. So we survived. Everyone got on and um, 
everyone had uh, a great experience. Pam just said, I watched Kay, Kay's video yesterday, had an aha moment. Yeah, Kay's, we have, <clears throat> excuse me, I am froggy. <clears throat> Kay, uh, Kay's experiential swag um, contribution is a really unique way of looking at the amount of impact that each level of color has. So it was really, it, I learned a lot from that as well. I was never taught that way. So there was tons of information both in the live event and for the experiential swag for our VIP ticket holders. So next year, if you even think about hesitating on going for the VIP, do not hesitate because you're going to be busy and miss things. It's a long day to attend live. So general admission, you have to attend live. It's a long day, trust me. I was there for every minute of it. Um, and it can be information overload. So what's nice about having the VIP is you're going to get those replays and you can do, you know, there's there was eight different, there was nine different presenters. So you have the ability to have nine hands-on classes and do the techniques with a doll head in the comfort of your own studio, home, wherever you want to do it. So. When I tell you it was $197 for VIP, it, it's worth probably $697, probably even more because we had Jay Edwards from Australia. He charges $500 a class. He has a class in the experiential swag. Sheree Noble from Australia, same thing. Christina Russell, same thing. I mean, every single educator has education offerings that are in the high, <clears throat> you know, 500 and up range, and you're getting it within your... VIP experiential swag library. So enough about revival. We have to wait for next year. Let's talk about boot camp. So this year I'm doing or this boot camp I'm doing something a little different. I've done it enough times to take note of the feedback that I get. And some of the feedback that I've gotten is, oh, I'm working. I missed it. Where's the replay? Number one, the replay doesn't go anywhere. It's always in that Facebook group. So don't stress, don't panic, don't feel like you have to email me and ask me. Just simply get onto the group again, scroll down, and I'm right there. You can watch it as many times as you want. I do not take it down. So that's number one. Um, number two, there is a PDF download that you're going to be getting emailed to you. So a lot of you have you know, requested to join the group, but you haven't given your email address. So when boot camp starts tomorrow, I'm going to get a million people commenting saying, where's the, where's the download? Where's the download? I don't see it. It's not on the Facebook group, you get it emailed to you. So if you joined bootcamp and you have not um, supplied your email, please be sure to either DM me with your email or email me with your email um, at elaine at expertcolorsolutions.com so that you don't miss out on the downloadable. We work hard on the free downloads and we wanna make sure that you have the full bootcamp experience. Bootcamp is very interactive. You can ask questions live when I'm teaching um, in the group. Um, if a question doesn't get answered, always feel free to you know put a post in the group and just make sure you tag me at Elaine Travis so that you make sure that I see it. Um, but I am there for you for three days of education. Um, it's usually I say an hour, but you know I love to talk, so I usually stay on and answer questions for at least 30 minutes longer than the hour. Um, but this year I did something different where I didn't do it three consecutive days. I felt like it was like drinking out of a fire hose where I was giving all of this content and people didn't even get to have day one digest it before day two was here. And with working and a lot of you just going back after COVID shutdowns, I felt like it was a smarter choice to spread it out. So it starts tomorrow, October 21st, and then we meet again on Tuesday, I think it was the 26th. And again, on that Thursday. So Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday. And then on the final day, Thursday, you'll be invited to a deeper dive masterclass because we all know an hour um, in a boot camp is usually not enough time. So the deeper dive is the Q&A, the ask me anything, the I can see you, it's done on Zoom, so I can unmute you and we can actually have a conversation. So I'm excited for boot camp. Um, we have, I think, 200 and... 50 people already opted in, so if, you've, if you're on the fence, what do you have to lose? What is your excuse? We had people, Revival was international this year, and one of our educators 
stayed for the cocktail party and she's in Ireland and the cocktail party started at seven. So our cocktail party started at midnight for her. She stayed up through the whole entire thing and then had to teach the next day and showed up for us and people loved having her there. We had people attending that were in Australia, London, Ireland. They were there for the whole thing. One of my members, Claire, always shows up. I actually spotlighted her during Revival to share that that's her level of commitment. She's been doing hair over 40 years. She didn't miss a minute of Revival. And she was VIP. She didn't have to be there live. But she absolutely loved the breakout sessions and the connection to the artists. So she made it work. She probably was exhausted for a few days afterwards, but she was there. So what's your excuse? You know, what's your excuse for not coming to boot camp? What's your excuse for not growing your, yourself behind your chair? You cannot know everything. In the email that I put out to my list to invite you to boot camp, I said, if you are behind the chair earning six figures or more and you're fully booked and you are living the life of your dreams, keep scrolling. Don't even come to boot camp. You are rocking it and you are good to go because trust me, I know you've been doing education. It's just not with me. So if that's you, if you're doing high six figures and you're going on vacation to beautiful places and, and you know experiencing everything you've wanted to experience in your life, do not bother coming. You are good to go. But if you're living paycheck to paycheck and you're actually hesitating when you want that Starbucks and you're saying, mm, I really shouldn't spend that $6 on a cup of coffee because my kids need books, you need to come to book to boot camp because you're choosing to play small. You're choosing to stay stuck. And it's all about your attitude. If you came to revival, Dr. Lou gave everybody the tears and the chills on attitude. And everything is attitude. You know, you hear about these people who grow up in the projects and, you know, single parent homes with living on food stamps and they become doctors and lawyers and inventors and have hugely successful careers because their attitude was that they could be different in the next generation, that they didn't have to be, you know, set up with, set up for failure because of where they came from. They were able to overcome obstacles by caring to grow and change. So if you want it bad enough, the information's there, this is free. So it doesn't cost you a thing. Um, and there's really no reason not to come. Uh, Carolyn said, Dr. Lou rocks. Pam said, um, Pam and Su Suzanne said they met Claire in the breakouts. Isn't she amazing? And you are all amazing. You are both always there for me as well, and I appreciate you. Um, Pamela said, thank you to all the presenters. Without you sharing your knowledge, we don't get the enlightenment. Yep. Mary said, VIP additional content is also a whole additional weekend of learning, no doubt. Yep, and we love you, Mary Wilson. Mary and Philip are always so fun. We had so much fun with picking on Philip in the cocktail party. Um, everybody thought Philip was in a timeout because he had his own breakout room. They thought that uh, Mary didn't let him come to play in the reindeer game. So they're always fun and they're an amazing, amazing couple who always give back to our industry. Lori said, I was never really taught good color basics. Well, Lori, I hope that you're coming to boot camp because that's what we talk about. And, and it's not boring. It's not like, here is your color wheel. This is the levels of lift, you know, it's, as you can see, I like to talk, I like to tell funny stories, and I use examples from behind the chair of real life situations of, you know, if I was the client and I came in and showed you a picture of a copper red, would you crap your pants or would you say, yes, great day, this is so much fun, I can't wait to make her copper. Um, only you can answer that. I'm the, yes, I've been wanting to make you strawberry for years. I'm so excited. Let's do this. Um, when you know the foundations and the basics, that's all that matters. You can do corrective work. You can do transformations. You can do it all. With success and with confidence, you can predict what the look is going to be like before you even pull that tube or bottle of color. And I'm going to share a very embarrassing story with you on day two of boot camp. Um, I've been back and forth for literally weeks about it because as an educator, uh, of course, I want to show you that I know what I'm talking about and that, you know, I have experienced a lot in 35 years and I'll never point you in the wrong direction, but I tried a new technique recently and I want to share my experience with that. And it's, it's pretty, uh, 
pretty raw, <laughs> raw material that uh, really upsets me, but I'm going to share it because it's going to help one of you do something different in the future. So I hope to see you there to share in my embarrassing story. Um, Michael, Michael, yes, it was great to see you. Michael said, I'm totally the same, Elaine, 37 years in and I'm still getting educated. Michael was very active in revival. He unmuted himself. He spoke to the educators. I can only imagine how many people were there that never unmuted themselves and never asked a question because it's the fear of the judgment of the other participants. And what a shame, you know, to have to have, you know, Joe Blackwell and Marion Philip Wilson and Vivian McKinder and all these amazing educators just talking to you, you know, just face to face talking to you is absolutely amazing. And we're so proud of how great the um the breakouts went because that's a risk with Zoom when you do those breakouts. It can go either way. And we're so happy at the um the feedback that we're getting, people were loving it. You know, there, there was like 20 people for each breakout that chose not to go in. You know, they just sat there on their computer and everybody else was engaging and learning even more in these 15 minute breakouts. And they were there. It wasn't like they had to be somewhere else. It wasn't like they had got up to go to the restroom or get a snack or whatever. They were just sitting there. And we kept messaging them saying, hey, you didn't go in the break room and they're in the breakout. And they're like, I'm good. And I was like, why? Why would you be good? My gosh, I was sad that I couldn't be in there. Carolyn said a five, six, seven, eight. Yes. So if you don't know what five, six, seven, eight is, you need to come to boot camp and you will find out. Pam says it makes me want to do long hairdressing again. You know what, Pam? I wish I could share your sentiment. I, I get to record Vivian's um, experiential swag and I get to ask her questions and I watch her do her and Nicholas just completely blow me away with their updo skills. The, the way of dressing hair is just like no other. Martin Parsons maybe was the only other person that, that blew me away like that. And I could watch Vivian and I could be standing right next to her and I just, it's kind of like being born left-handed versus right-handed. It's something that I feel like just is not my, my thing. It's not my jam. I've tried, I've been frustrated. And, and I think the difference is I don't know how to do it because I don't really enjoy it. I think if I if I had a love for it and a passion for it, I would go to New York and spend a weekend with Vivian and spend however much I would have to pay for that opportunity to master it, but it's not my thing. I barely even want to do my own hair. I mean, I barely did it today because I'm going for a massage and I'm just going to get oil in it. But, you know, the passion isn't there. So if you find yourself foregoing education... It could very well be that you haven't found that one service that lights you up. For me, you know, watching the haircutting presentations, I'm not as engaged with that because I haven't been cutting in 18 years. So I'll go in and out and kind of pay attention to make sure everything's going okay, but I'm not really leaning in like, oh, I can't wait to try that because I'm no longer cutting. I still like to watch it, but it doesn't interest me as much. So if you find yourself in your daily appointment schedule kind of looking at something like oh I'm, I'm dreading doing that chances are you should be leaning in on something that you love doing I love doing color so all day long it was color correction highlight retouch glaze color correction highlight you know whatever and I never looked at my book and did the hair look like oh if I saw a kid's cut oh if I saw an updo oh so I just stopped doing those things. And I'm not saying that's for everyone. I'm not saying wipe out half of your clientele, but if you truly dislike, like I truly, every fiber of my being dislikes doing updos. My own daughter, who we were just talking about earlier, um, every prom that she went to, every wedding that she's in, she goes to one of my, it's one of our staff members that loves to do updos. I'm not gonna do it for her and do a half-assed job when I don't love what I'm doing. It's better for her to be in somebody's hands that actually loves doing what they do. So no shame in, um, yes, Martin did pass away. Very sad. Um, yeah, if, if you're doing something that you don't love, don't keep doing it. Do more of what you love and raise the price of what you love or raise the price of what you don't love so that nobody wants you to do it and then you can do what you love. You can do you can do either method, but 
when you love what you do, I can tell you, you do not dread working. You work like yesterday. I was like, I am not working. I am exhausted. I had so much going on with revival. I just needed to, I was in here packing up. People bought the orange comb that was on the dashboard. I was packing up combs, packing up hairstylist decks that people bought, packing up the level finders that people bought. I was like, I know how I am when I buy something and I don't want to wait even one extra day to get it. So I was like, what am I doing? Like, I can sit here and do this. This isn't stressful because I love what I do. So I ended up, Bryn and Jeff were both yelling at me. You're not supposed to be working. Get away from your desk. And like, I loved seeing all the comments and all the people saying how much they enjoyed it. That's not work to me. That was like, yes, that's my report card. I know that we did a good job because people are, are writing love notes. So I love it. Love what I do. Love bringing boot camp to you. So please join me. Um, please share the opportunity, share this coffee chat with others in the industry, share this on other forums. If you see somebody struggling, especially with formulation, Facebook doesn't allow me to spam my, to say, look, look at me, I'm doing boot camp. come to me. They shut me down as soon as I share a link. So I cannot share my links, but you are welcome to share the link for boot camp. and I would love um, for you to, um, to do that for me. I would really appreciate that. So, you know, if you're on Instagram and you see somebody saying, do you know anybody who's teaching hair color? I'm new. I'm right out of school. You know, they're the people I'm trying to reach. And the people that I get who I love dearly all have as much experience as I do. But the, the bottom line is we all missed the memo. We all missed that foundational piece. And that's my passion to bring that forward so that people never have to stress about a color correction or even a basic gray coverage formula again. So I'm all talked out. You're probably all listened out with my froggy voice today. Um, but thank you for joining. Please share. And I'm excited to see you tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, you know, if you're in another time zone, just Google e EST to whatever your time zone is. I can't tell you how many people comment. What time is it in London? What time is it? I don't know. Google it. That's what I do to give you your answer. <laughs> so yeah, I learned so much. I was so full. It was so amazing. I am a newbie and yes, I love what I do for 38 years. Thank you, Sonia. I saw you on the screen. I saw you, girl. I saw you engaging and I loved it. So thank you again for listening to Coffee Chat. I will see you all tomorrow night in boot camp and I will see you back here for coffee and colorful conversation. What the heck is on my mug? Oh, it's my lipstick. Um, I will see you back here next Wednesday. Have a great rest of your week and a great weekend.